What's up people, how's it going? So today I'm just going to go over a few things that you can do in lucid dreaming, the benefits of it that you might not even realise. First is first, memory. Memory recall, it goes through the roof. It's like your brain has never forgot a single thing that it's ever witnessed. So a lot of the times before I started taking like nootropics and stuff like that, I'd have struggle with memory recall from my own self so what i mean by that is if someone else stimulated a memory by saying something then i could remember it but if some that stimulus wasn't there then i'd, I'd struggle to recall it but that's cha that's changed after taking nootropics and like loads of supplements and stuff but one thing in lucid dreaming that i realized when i was going through when i used to have struggle recalling words and memory and stuff I had I had one loose dream that sticks out and it was crazy. I'll just quickly go over it and I'll, it shows you the power of lucid dreaming. So first of all, started as a nightmare. I was in a field that was like a square field with a house in the middle. And then I was hiding away from four sniper rifle people at each corner of the field behind like a little rock and became lucid, realized it was a dream. So I came out from behind the rock and I was basically like, you're right guys, this is a dream. I know it's a dream. It's pretty weird. I just went and confronted them. I was like, this is a dream. And the four sniper riflemen just started clapping. And they were like, oh, well done. You figured out it's a dream. The exit to the dream is this way. So on one of the corners of the field to the on the right angle, there was like a little exit. And I went through this exit, went into like a little theme park type place where all my dreams were like rides but it wasn't like a two-dimensional thing it was three-dimensional so there was like floating you know like portal of a dream up to the left down below and it was like all windy roads and stuff but on the roads to get there there was like you would get a normal theme park like cotton candy salesman and little games that you could play and one of the games was like a memory game and it was a little computer, like a, a laptop type thing. And I went up and asked, like, oh, what's this? What's this? And the person said, well, this is to find all your lost items that you've ever had. Um, I was like, okay, this, this is strange. Let's try this out. So I wanted to find out. It had the list up to, like, about a few years back. And then I wanted to find out what was the first ever thing that I lost. So... I started scrolling back and I got to a certain point where it said error. I was like, okay, so I must have just forgot past this point or it's just a bullshit dream and it, it doesn't work. I'm just imagining things. But so I started walking away and then like two seconds later, um, the person said, oh, it's done now. It's loaded. So I went back and went to the very first thing and it, I went to the very first thing and it said that it was an eight piece hat. Um, and I was like, that rings no bells. I don't have a clue what you're on about. This is a load of bullshit. So I just left and carried on with the dream. I don't think it lasted much longer than that because usually when I'm in a lucid dream, I, I tend to shit myself a little bit when I realize what's happening like to the full extent. Um, like what I think sometimes is, oh crap, I'm experiencing this thing. What's my real body actually doing? Am I dead or is my body in another realm somewhere like sound asleep and that freaks me out so i wake up but when i woke up i googled like eight piece hat and then i did a bit of digging it was like children's toys eight piece hat and it was this like eight piece set that i had when i was a kid it was like a builder's set and the hat was like the builder's hat within that set which i had when i was a kid so I must have lost that the first thing I've ever lost and that blew my mind I was like I can remember the first thing that I've ever lost within the lucid dream yet I can't even remember the word for a fucking tree like in day-to-day -day life what's going on here so once so that's the first benefit of what you, that's the first thing that you can do that you might not realize you can do in a lucid dream so the second thing is 
uh, you can practice things in a lucid dream. So if you're training for, I, I'm a swimmer. So, well, I used to be a swimmer back in the day. And if you are in need of like further training time, then you can utilize your lucid dreams for this. Like there's, there's been loads of studies done that's compared, you know, like visualization and actually doing training and not doing any training. Uh, so there was a study that did like a basketball, this test for basketball. And um, the first, there's three groups. The first people trained. Uh, the second group didn't train, just visualize. And the third group didn't do anything. And there was a test before, which was a, a baseline test, which was like shooting hoops, see how many they can get in. And then there was one after like, I don't know, a month of training or something. And what they found was that obviously the no training had no effect, no significant effect. But the visualization and the actual training has similar effects um, on, on the improvement of the skill and how many shoots are they hooped. Um, how many hoops are they shooted, whatever. And so there's clear benefits of visualization. And I think that that comes into play when you're dreaming as well. Because I used to swim and sometimes I used to swim and go over my technique in the water like butterfly technique it used to be the keyhole the whole keyhole thing um and then breaststroke technique timing of it and stuff and I, I made it pretty pretty good at swimming at one point compared to my age group but that's just another thing that you can do in 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 a dream and the final thing that you can do in a dream is you can use it for divine inspiration in the lucid dream. You can use lucid dreams for divine inspiration. You can use, sometimes you just get random blobs of like, when I say divine inspiration, I just mean things that are so creative. It's like, how the hell did you come up with that? You can get it from just normal dreams because there's been like musicians, like is it one of the Beatles, um, came up with yesterday from a dream um there's been loads of inspirational like masters of their field from dreaming and has inspiration from the dreams but the way i've done it is from lucid dreaming uh it all tends to be revolving around like the meaning of life for me that's what, what i ask because sometimes when you're in a lucid dream state you're not like you are you're lucid, but the amount of control you've got over your thoughts is quite kind of limited because there's so much stuff going on. So, so there's two times I've asked what the meaning of life are, life is in a dream, in a lucid dream. I'll tell you the two answers that I've got back from the dreams. So the first one I ever asked, it's the first answer I ever received, I can't remember which dream or what scenario that I was in, but I can remember the answer that I got. And the answer was that there is a limited amount of good emotion that's available on the planet in the third dimension. And everyone who's alive on the planet right now is all competing to experience like good emotions. And when you realize how to win, they don't even know if winning's the right word because the the intent that I got from the, the person telling me from what I remember at the time was that it's not really a competition because the competition kind of insinuates that you're like wanting to beat another person and um, become first. Yeah, you are trying to like gain as much good emotion as you can but the way of doing that isn't to be a dick to someone else because then that ultimately leads to you feeling bad and remorse and stuff like that so there's ways of doing it like helping people and giving stuff and that's how you like ascend in this game that we're in which is you know to to achieve as many good emotions as you can and this and the guy and the person said it's like not like pleasure emotions either not like um like momentary pleasure it's more to do with um 
the, that feeling of like calmness and um, no, no stress and just liking and, and enjoying life. That seems to be the, the, the thing that I got from the dream. The second dream was literally like, the second dream where I asked what the meaning of life was, was literally like two, three nights ago. Now it's the same one where I was clicking. Um, it only lasted, the dream lasted for, it felt like ages, but the lucid part only lasted for, must've been about 15 seconds because I shot myself and woke up. When I realized I'm in the dream, I sometimes just shit myself and I'm like, what's going on? Um, and what I did was I was like, all right, I need to think, quickly think of a question. I want to ask my subconscious. Um, so I was like, what, what can I ask? What can I ask? I was like, okay, what's the meaning of life? And then I woke up, but I woke up with this answer in my head. So I woke up with the answer that was a bit complicated. The gist of it was, it doesn't really matter. It, well, what you mean by the meaning of life differs from person to person and what perspective you view it from. So there's the collective as a whole, and then there's your individual meaning. So the collective as a whole has one goal and one meaning. And then your individual self has like a sub goal to advance the higher meaning. I'll give you an analogy to kind of make it because that was shit, shit explaining. It's really hard to explain. So analogy of an army. So you've got the whole army's objective is to win the war or the battle or whatever. But then you've got so that's the whole human consciousness is one big goal. And then you've got the assassins and you've got the soldiers and you've got the um, someone who just wants to lower the drawbridge so they get the army to go through. And that's what we are right now. We're like each individual has their own kind of meaning, but there is a, there is a larger meaning for us all to try and achieve. And that's what I got from that dream the other night, which is kind of cer cerebral as fuck, but um, it's pretty cool. So if you guys have experienced lucid dreaming and avid lucid dreamers, um, or if you want to learn how to lucid dream, I'm going to do another video telling you how to learn um, how to lucid dream. So check out my channel. And it's it's once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. But if you if there's any other avid lucid dreamers in here that have any other things that they've done in their lucid dreams, comment down below because I'm always down on listening to other people's stories and learning more to do for myself as well and helping the collective. So that's it for today, guys. Much love. See you on the other side.